Good morning, it's Sarah, and I'm working on a portrait of Marie Eaton this morning. She is one of the three of us who are working on this project together, me, Richard, and Marie. And so to start off the project, we had a Zoom meeting. I grabbed some screenshots to include the one that you see on my screen now. And I'm working on a pencil portrait, a Prismacolor pencil. Marie and Richard and I agreed that I'd do something fairly quick to just illustrate what um, what we're doing. And final portraits will be in paint, but it's really pleasurable for me to start with a sketch and uh, maybe even a finished drawing because it helps me to know someone's face and it helps me to kind of process their story and their features together. I've known Marie for a while and it's been a pleasure getting to know her and working with her. So hopefully I do her justice in a, in a quick portrait. Let's take a look. So I started out by doing a line drawing very lightly in a very light pencil. And I, I'm just slowly <clears throat> and lightly building up the Prismacolor warm gray pencil on this Artigan paper. And I chose a pink paper. I chose a pink paper because, and I really thought about this, what color paper would I choose? Do we wanna do it black and white and keep it very linear, maybe even in pen and ink, or do I want to do something softer? And um, this photo on Zoom really lent itself to something a bit softer than our uh, than a than pen and ink. And it also um, the pink Marie just seems so, so warm. Uh, she's got such a warm heart and personality, and also the colors that are in the room with her there seem very, very warm. So I thought I'd go with a warm gray and white and pink, and we'll just see where it leads. Drawing is a lot about seeing. Painting is a lot about seeing. Making art is all about seeing. And um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like taking the time to listen to somebody visually. So I've finished my drawing of Marie and I've spent a day with her features and her story and I've gotten to know her a little bit better so that I'm better prepared to paint her portrait in acrylic. Now that I've had time to do a drawing of Marie to study her features and to think about her story and who she is, I'm going to begin to paint her. So here I've done an underpainting in a yellow ochre and I'm doing 
the sketch on the canvas with some very watery burnt sienna. I'm also filling in some values now to make sure that I'm heading in the right direction. What are my darkest darks and what are my lightest lights? And what is it I want to emphasize, not only in the way Marie looks, but in who she is, because all of that goes into a portrait. Sometimes I choose to put it in and sometimes it comes in all by itself. I've gotten the underpainting of Marie finished and I'm beginning to see her and I enjoy the color that is emerging as well. Well, we're in the home stretch. I'm just about done with Marie's face and now I'm going to spend a little bit more time on her clothes to firm them up so they look more like fabric. I think my portrait of Marie is about complete. I'll check in with her to see what she thinks as well because I want her to be happy with it too. I loved this time painting her and reflecting on the things that I've learned about her over time. Hopefully this shows her warmth, her creativity, her brightness, and perhaps embodies a bit of her life experience. I look forward to painting more portraits, and I hope that you'll consider being a part of this project with us.